Hello for Alex and Graham Crew. Welcome back to my channel again. Well, not too long ago I did a review of the TBS uh, Pro 32 HB uh, VTX. Real powerful one. Goes up to almost 2 watts. Uh, I'll leave a link in the description to that review just in case you didn't see it. Uh, but since then I whacked it in my model, been flying with it a few times and I wanted to do a basic long range test just to give you an idea of uh, the quality basically of how far you can get. I haven't gone for miles and miles and miles even though I reckon the bleeding thing could have done. But uh, what you should know is I was also running the TBS Triumph Pro FPV antenna right on the VTX right which is bleeding awesome I've done reviews of that but I'll leave a link in the description to that because putting them two together you have got an amazing setup on the uh, goggles I'm running the ORT patch right which I got these about a year ago I did a review of these I've never looked back right quick look there you go I've never never took them off the Friggin' amazing, I'm so happy with them, they, they, they just stay on forever, I just fly with everything, whether it be my whoops or whatever, I just use this, well, that's it, right? But yeah, so I've done this flight, right, but uh, like I said, I haven't gone for miles and miles and miles, but it probably would have done, right? But one thing I need to tell you, after the flight, after I'd landed, right, a bloke had come up to us, and he says, oh, he says, I found you. I said, what's up? He goes, he down the road about a quarter of a mile down the other end of the golf course, right? Right down the other end. And he'd set up his quad and I blasted him out of the sky, basically. He had no signal. All he could see was me flying, right? He could just see our man because I had the milliwatts boosted right up to the max right blasted him right out of the sky right so if you get one of these things if you go somewhere where there's other people flying don't use the max i mean it's common sense but i'm just telling you in case you're a new pilot do not use it because you'll blast out everybody else's signal right and if it's an accident they'll understand like with me the guy was quarter of a mile down the road i didn't even know anybody else was bleeding flying Right, he was fine about it. Right, but if you do it when somebody's flying and their quad falls out of the sky and smashes up, it's technically your fault. Right? Don't know what the courts would say, right? But you'd be in trouble for using nearly two watts anyhow. But yeah, so I respect to other pilots, even though I didn't, but it was a I didn't know he was there. Like I said, quarter of a mile down the road, so that gives you an idea of the power. So right then, there, there is the flight then, like I said, I've actually flown slow to make it last a little bit longer, <laughs> right, because uh, you'll see anyhow in the video, right, it's a decent range, a good long range, but it could have gone a hell of a lot further, a hell of a lot further, I'll probably check it down to the coast one day and have a good long run along the beach, that would be nice, but this is just a, a pretty good idea to gear a, this will give you a pretty good idea of the range. Okay then, pilots and ground crew, thanks for watching, and let's roll VT. Right then, pilots and ground crew, here we go. We're heading for that tower in the left hand side corner. That one, just there. Magic of edited. In case any year notice a little wobble from time to time, I'm trying to fly really slowly, right, just to make the most out of the flight. <laughs>
Well, as you can see, uh, basically run out of field to be going in a straight line. And as you'll notice in a second anyway, we're past the tower and I didn't want to fly over the roads. I already knew I'd probably have people moaning at me. But yeah, so there's the tower, we went way past that. And it's, I have to tell you, the image of my goggles were perfect all the way. I didn't get a single break up at all. Look at all them cows around the old mill. Yeah, <laughs> I didn't get a single break up in my goggles at all. I just had a perfect flight. I could have kept going. I could have gone, I, I reckon, miles. All right, but uh, I'm never going to fly this far anyhow on an average flight. But uh, yeah, so what can I say about the VTX? It's bleeding awesome. It's an all-rounder. Okay then, I uh, hope you enjoyed uh, short, short-ish range test, but just to show you how far it will go. And with the uh, TBS Triumph antenna, it works amazingly. Right, so it might be worth picking up both if you're interested. All right then, pilots and ground crew. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this little range test, and cheers.